Hey guys, it's me Ursula Milani and I'm back with um, a new product to review and it's the Givenchy Rottweiler um, tote and I'm also back with shorter blonde hair as well. So let's have a look at this. It, I got this at um, a place here in Ostuni in the south of Italy um, in the region called Puglia. Um, and there's not many of these lying around anymore. I've looked online and I can't find nearly as many as I used to. And again, guys, I am from Australia originally and I couldn't um, find them. Um, at a low enough cost to actually go and get them in store there either. So online was definitely something i kept an eye on over the years maybe about i've been probably in love with this piece for about two years since it came out so since i finally have it yes um so that's Givenchy dust bag now i got the medium size not the actual size that i was dreaming of because also price would have been an issue but also I'm pretty happy with this as well so that's the Rottweiler print and again that's its size there and I mean it's it's pretty good and it seems to have that capacity as well so I'll just open it up for you guys to see that also comes with the mini for me it's a little clutch like I wouldn't use it as like a coin purse inside because it's too awesome just remove the stuffing cool so inside here you've got the Givenchy Paris um, it just tells you a bit of information about the product so product information including what it's made of how to take care of it and just one second so it's just um, said that coated um, canvases just need to be cleaned with a dry cloth and keep them dry and store them well. Also, they said that the little metal items there, so Givenchy is in metal and so is the zipper of the little one. They just said that's going to develop a pattern over time and that you can avoid with um, clear nail polish so that's something you could consider doing but I kinda I kind of don't I've done it and then it still occurs um, but not as much and I wouldn't do this on the Givenchy yet at least I'll just hope it goes well so this hasn't actually um, labeled what fabric it is so it's actually I've looked it up it's about majority polyurethane PVC and then what is leather is the handles and just the Givenchy sign actually if this wasn't leather imagine how much that would cost but um, <laughs> it's um, it's still amazing with the print. I've got a couple Rottweilers myself, so I've got a personal attachment to Rottweilers. Inside the little wallet, there's an actual satchel of the coated canvas. So you'll see it's got a bit of a luster to it, almost like a matte luster. Matte luster might not make sense, but yeah, it's almost matte. And on the other side you'll just see it's just material it kind of looks like cotton so it's got a bit of that but it the main thing isn't it isn't leather okay 
Let's look inside for capacity. So yeah, you've got pretty good capacity inside and there you'll actually also see another label that says Givenchy and that's just connected to the bottom there. And otherwise it's also here on the blank side of this. So yeah, one side is blank and one side is amazing. Now this will go with everything, black, it's always good. The only thing was when I first got this was I wanted to make this detachable because it does actually make an all right little clutch. You do have a bit of capacity there, phone, key card, little lipstick, that's, that's plenty. Um, and to detach it, you just have to, I was worried that you couldn't, you just have to pull this off here and just slide it through this little noose. Be gentle of course, because this one is actually, little handle is all, all leather. Up there and then to put it back through I just Let me press that in and that should stick. Now just fiddle around with it. This isn't actually the the real way I did it. I did it some other way and I also found it another way but I couldn't remember. But it was a bit difficult. But once you've got it, you've got it as a handle. Carry it like this and that's the size of it. <laughs> cool. Now I paid 380 euros which is actually crazy because you won't be able to find that anywhere um, so I got it at a little small boutique I don't think they have franchises um, and they don't order in um, so it was just what's there and a lot of places kind of do that with the this particular Givenchy item they don't order it in it's just what's given to them also it's been in uh, a bit of time the other prints like the Bambi and the the holy one I have not seen there at, at outlets yet so that's interesting I only got it at that price because I don't know, as soon as I saw it, I just, I was like over, over delighted. Um, cause I had, I was looking for it and a prior place had told me it was out and that they had just sold it to someone yesterday. And, um, I was like, damn it. Um, and then it was on sale here for 600 euro, something almost double actually the price. Um, so I luckily know someone who's in that area and they bargained kind of down. They got to speak with the, they knew the owner. So yes, that's how I got it to an affordable price. It was going to be down to 400 euro, I think 500 euro. But we, we did something. I said 350 and I'm buying it straight away. But um, yeah, we it's still 380, which I'm very happy with anyway. Because online, I was looking at the same size and it's equivalent to a, over a thousand, thousand fifty euro from Barney's in New York and a few of the other places. Um, yeah, so do your best to come to Italy and get in a boutique bargain maybe with someone who knows the owner I don't know that's 
it's going to be difficult. It is pricey, but I'm sure it's well worth it. And hopefully it'll be a long-term piece um, without much wear. Again, I wonder if the handles are very thick. What I've noticed is when the handles are sealed is that it does come off over time. And this is on like guest bags and things I've had in the past. So hopefully that doesn't happen. And the leather is actually really thick. So hopefully also it doesn't crinkle like on the Alviero Martini. Mariani. Alviero Mariani. Oh, sorry. I can't even say it. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Any other product details um, you guys need, just let me know. Thank you.